Hey, what's up, Funko Pop gang? As y'all know, it's Eddie coming live to y'all from my game room. And guys, today, um, I am going to share a story with y'all and kind of try something. You know, I I was hoping I never had to do this. Um, but, you know, the mail being the mail kind of messed things up. So, um, so I recently got a pop, guys. And I want y'all to see the, the box. So for some reason, somehow water got in the um, the the package box, and the whole pop was just soaked, like soaked. I mean, there's still a water spot on there. Like if y'all look right there, you kind of see like it's a little darker there than here. And so, I mean, there's a water stain spot. Like, I don't know what the hell happened, but this whole pop was wet. And, like, it was just, it, this whole box just came apart. Like, I took it out of the protector because it was sticking to it. Like, I had to literally cut it out of the protector to try to take it out because the pop, I don't know if y'all can see it on the protector, was, like, sticking to it. So, if I left it on there, it would have just taken the whole paint off of it. So... It sucks. Um, it's a pop I really wanted. I have the other ones of the Scarlet Witch. And this is just one of the ones I wanted to have. Interesting thing though. It came apart for some reason. There's Chinese letters on there. Like I just didn't expect that on this pop. But I mean it just completely. Completely just came apart. The window was just hanging. So I just took off the part of it. I mean at this point. I mean. It's pretty much going to be. An out of box pop, um, but I'm gonna try to see what I've been seeing on YouTube, guys. And I wanted to share it with you guys to kind of show y'all. Here's the Scarlet Witch. She's still awesome, you know. Just kind of, I'm I'm a box collector, you know. I do have some out of boxes, not a whole lot, but I'm gonna try to salvage this box, um, and I kind of want to share that with you guys, just to see how it looks, what what comes out of it. So um, right now I'm recording in. My um, game room, guys, but, you know, I'm going to bring y'all different clips. I'm going to move over and try to iron the box, see how that comes out. And then later on, you know, I bought glue to try to stick it to it and see how that works. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens, guys. So hopefully I like this video, um, you know, something different for me, but it's just an experience and, you know, just kind of show y'all what it what, what happens. Um you know, shout out to everyone that's been commenting, guys. I love it when other, um, you know, part of the community that have videos and stuff like that comment on my, my channel is awesome. Um, you know, um, I recently discovered uh, Top of Pops. Cool guy. Um, you know, I checked out some of his videos. Um, you know, and it was just awesome that, you know, he commented on my um, channel. And also, man... Um, Tills Pop, man, them dudes are freaking hilarious. Watch their videos if you haven't watched it. Woo! Like, it just cracks me up, man. And so, um, you know, check those guys out. You already know Pop Sit, Book Bar Bros. You know, it's great when we all support each other and just, you know, kind of help out the community, guys. And, you know, I love it. Um, the other thing, guys, tomorrow I'm going to go to uh, an autograph show to go get my Wrestling Pops um, autographed. I got my Skullhawk NWO Chase. My Kevin Nash and W.O. Chase. I'm going to get them autographed by both those wrestlers. And I'm going to try to get my um, Ric Flair pop signed by the one and only Ric Flair. So, woo! Hopefully that happens, guys. If y'all would like to see a video at me at the uh, autograph show, I'm going to see if I can record. You know, I would love to show it to you guys. But just kind of let me know, guys. Thank y'all so much. I'm going to, you know, like I said, do different clips. So let's get started. Alright guys, so hopefully I can see this. Um, you know, I do have an ironing board. I don't want to do this on my kitchen table. So I just had to find some kind of piece of wood area. And this is just on the side of our bed post. And I'm just going to try it. To see, just to see how this works. Um, you know, I've heard them say to use a shirt. Um, not to iron directly in the box. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting it in between a shirt. I'm just kind of ironing it out. Just kind of see what that does. Um, I'm sorry if this isn't the best angle, guys. 
like I said, it's just to kind of try it out for myself. I got nothing to lose. The box is damaged already. So, you know, let's just kind of see what this does to the box. Um, let's see if we can kind of bring it back to life. Um, you know, we'll go from there. So, let me just kind of do some of the middle. And then we'll go to over to some of the edge. And I know some of you are probably cringing, but like I said, I have nothing to lose, guys. This box was gone already. The worst thing is what kind of happened already. So I have nothing to lose with this box. See kind of how it's looking. Let's see. So, uh, I don't know if I should even use the shirt, to be honest with you. This corner kind of, it's okay, but you can kind of still see it. So, um, I'm trying to think of I probably won't do it on the sticker portion let's see what happens if we do it with outside the shirt like I said I have nothing to lose guys so y'all are the viewers at this point I don't mind you know damaging the box I can't smell it so I don't think it's great that I'm putting it on the box and I know a lot of you are gonna put that in the comments like dude you're doing it on the box but like I said, I have nothing to lose, guys. Like, this box is destroyed either way. So it doesn't hurt for me to just do it on the box and see what that does. Kind of compare it a little bit. And to be honest with you, I don't mind it. It doesn't look bad. Like, actually, I think it looks better than when I had the shirt over it. So um, let me try it on that same piece that I did with the shirt. Just kind of see how that comes out. Like I said, this box is pretty much a goner. So we have nothing to lose, guys. So there's no point in cringing. There's no point in, you know going oh man you're ruining the box this box is a goner so not bad not great but not bad <laughs> um, it looks okay let me iron the top a little bit. Yeah, not, not, not bad. Okay. Let's try this side. See how that looks. I'm going to leave that folded in because that's where the glue goes. So that part doesn't really matter. I would have never imagined doing this, guys. Ever. So, you know, it's kind of unfortunate that this happened, but the mail service, you know, you, it is what it is. You can't do anything about it. You know, that's just what they do. They ruin pops. They ruin packages. So, this piece is a little warped. Like I've put the iron on it and it's still kind of curved. You know, I don't know if that's something that can be fixed or not. Like I said, at the end of the day, guys, 
I have nothing to lose. This box is gone no matter what. Okay, let's try ironing this side. Okay, Funko Pop gang. So I finished ironing. Sorry, the video kind of cut off a little bit there, but the box, I mean, it looks okay. It's not great. It's, it's far from great. So, I mean, it looks straight somewhat. Um, so I'm going to try to glue it together and just kind of see what happens. Um, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's far from, a from like, wow, this is, you know, it looks way better, but this is what it looks like now. It looks okay. Still not, you know, not great, but we're going to try to see if we can put this back together. I am going to glue it and then show it to you guys. So we'll see how it turns out, guys. Um, stay tuned. Okay, Funko Fat, Funko Pop Pam. So I put it together. <laughs> Um, doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look great, but I mean, it's better than what I started with. So let me show y'all what it came out. So there she is. The box is back together. Um, there is, there's tons of damage guys. I mean, the water did, did its damage on the pop. So there's first off that corner. I don't know if y'all can see it right there this corner there and you know like by her head there's a little line kind of a crease there so she's not she's by far great i mean look at the back you know there's damage to it but i mean at least she's intact um the pops okay look at the back look at look at that damage so i mean it's not perfect the water stain it's still there you know like i said you can see it's dark here and then lighter but you know at least she's in her box and um you know together so next thing i'm gonna do guys um you know and I'm, that's just my what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just put her in a hard protector and just kind of see how that shapes up the box a little better um so like i said it's it's not perfect i mean this corner is terrible i mean look at this corner that water damage did is you know took its toll on the poor box but you know um it is what it is that's what i got and i'm just gonna put it in a pop protector a hard sack and just see how that turns out